What's up everyone? I'm Janitor Jake. I'm Chris K. And welcome to the American Gaming Geeks. Welcome back for another episode. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to watch us just get right to the game and start playing the game, um, click right here and I'll throw up a number or something if you're watching it on the PS3, PS4, yeah. another console. Um, and you can click right there or go to that number and it'll take you to the gameplay. Yeah. Otherwise, if you want to stick around, there are three parts to the show. The first part, we talk about what's new with us in the world of gaming. Mm -hmm. Then we um, play a game that we picked out previously and yeah. beat it. And then the third part is our final thoughts on the game, what we thought about it. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it amazing? Or is it just horrible garbage that needs to be thrown in the trash? <laughs> so, whatever. Without further ado, let's, stick, let's get to the show. So, right. Chris, is there anything new with you in the world of gaming? Yeah. Okay, there's a couple of things. The first thing is, I had a birthday recently, so, I, yeah, I know I'm 28. I know. Uh, crazy. So, I get this thing. I come home from work and I see this man crate on the table. I'm like, I did not know that I was going to be opening freight when I got home. Yeah. So anyway, uh, birthday comes along. I made the mistake of opening this first. If you get this for your birthday, open it last, uh, or for any occasion, open it last. <laughs> but um, basically, now I got it here, and I already have it open. Now, most people by this point have it in shreds, which is normal, probably. It's designed to be really difficult to open. But um, anyway, they give you a little crowbar to try to pry this thing open. You start taking this off, taking that off, and pry the thing until it's like in pieces and you can't get into it still. And so eventually you have to get your own tools and start prying the whole box apart. But um, I, I decided to go like um, the, the more difficult route, because I like making things more difficult for myself, to take it apart without ruining the box. Yeah, that's what I would, if I would have gotten a man crate, I don't want to ruin the box like everyone else does, yeah. because I still want to use it for storage. Yeah. Yeah, you put stuff in it. So I started trying to cut this hot glue on the surface, and I realized it was completely futile. So uh, I had this um, putty knife, my dad's putty knife, I started prying up at the top. The weak spot is really the nails. So anyway, I cheated, I took it off, took the bottom off, and I got into it backwards. So, one of the first things that I found in there was Retro Entertainment System. <laughs> so you can plug in your NES games into this, and uh, I guess I'll pop it open here. What the hey, why not? And uh, basically, it's a lot like the, the game console that you got for uh, a while ago, your Genesis. Basically, a uh, miniature console that you can plug in and uh, regular, NES games regular in there. NES regular games. NES games in there. Comes with two controllers. Uh, comes with uh, mono uh, audio and uh, some video. And yeah, it's like a nice, concise console for playing NES games. And then it came with two NES games, just in case you don't have any. Uh, Jordan vs. Bird basketball. And uh, Michael what Jordan, else? Larry Bird. And uh, Kung Fu. So... Nothing too special, just a few common games, yeah. but you don't own... You never I don't really own, own too many, but now I'm going to start collecting them more. That's what's been getting in the way of me collecting NES games, is uh, not having a console to play them on. But uh, then a couple other things, candy, you know, Strong Trooper, Pez Dispensers, I love Pez. Uh, a lot of other old-fashioned candies, uh, Mike and Ike's, Bottle Caps, uh, Nerds, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to talk about for that. I got other things which I'll talk about in the media experiences of uh, the Overthink Tank. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much my experience recently. I've gotten this uh, NES game, so I'm going to start collecting NES games. <clears throat> and that's the thing I noticed. Like, that's called a man crate. Now, mm -hmm. for some reason, this has been, like, trending lately. Yeah. There's now the man crate. It's a new one I heard about. But there's, like, loot crate. And then there's like all these other like gaming crates. People I think I do. even saw one on like Shark Tank or some show where they're hmm. advertising something like that. Yeah, and from what I gather, you pay like a monthly subscription, like thirty bucks a month, and they'll send you like with the gaming ones, they'll send you a crate with like random video games yeah. in there. This was the retro ga gamer crate, hmm. the retro gamer man crate. 
Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. So, and as for me, nothing too new with me in the world of gaming. Um, like I mentioned in other videos, I have a friend named Matt who comes by once in a while. He lives like five hours away. So once in a while when he comes back here, we wheel and deal and trade video gaming stuff. Mm -hmm. And he was also on the show on the episode where we played through Mario 2. That was Matt. So I'm going to show a few things that he, that I traded with him, and this is what I picked up from him. So a couple things I got here were some ColecoVision games. Sweet. So the first one I got here is... Zaxxon, hmm. so for the ColecoVision. And then I got Pepper 2, hmm. so that's pretty cool. Cosmic Avenger, Super Action Baseball, and then um, Looping, and this one isn't ColecoVision, it's Atari 2600, but it's called Peace O Cake. Huh. So one Atari game in there. Sweet. And then to go off Atari, he also traded me this, which I think is really cool. Like an Atari binder, huh. and it holds games. No games in there, but cool. that is pretty cool. Yeah. I like stuff like this. You've got plenty to put in there. I really like getting the neat doodaddy. Yeah. Extra stuff like that. Sweet. And then I was at a thrift store, and I picked this up. Cabela's Big Game Hunter on the PC. Ugh. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, jeez, so rude. Now, I have Cabela's Big Game Hunter on the PC, just the, you know, case or whatever, the little yeah. jewel case. I played that when I was a kid. And then we played Cabela's Big Game Hunter Ultimate yeah. Challenge on the original PlayStation. Very true. And so... And People I've love that one. Yeah, I've seen Big Game Hunter in the jewel case all over, but this is the first time I found it. Fully in the original box. On PC. On PC, and I thought that was really cool. You Sweet. open it up, you know, it's got the manual and stuff in here, but it also came with Deer Hunter 5. Hmm. So someone threw that in there too. Okay. But there it is. That's how I always find it out and about in the wild. So I had to pick it up because I love the game on PC, and it's cool to finally actually have it in the original box. Yeah. And then something not really gamer related, but. I like comics and retro books, and I found these. Gremlins, The Gift, The Gift of the Mogwai. Okay. I actually have, I keep finding sets of these, so I, eventually I'm going to have the whole set. Oh. But it's a storybook, and it comes with the, the, the record. There. I think there's five books, hmm. and I'm not sure. I think I might only be missing one more book. Okay. So I get found that. Cool. The other one, Masters of the Universe, because I'm a big He-Man fan. Grew up watching it as a kid. Yeah. So one of those storybooks. <clears throat> Mad Magazine. I always loved Mad. And this one makes me really happy because it's Beavis and Butthead edition. I love Beavis and Butthead. I love Mad. That's a great combination. Nice. Awesome combination. And, of course, the other thing. This is kind of gaming related. Magic the Gathering. I love Magic the Gathering. And so, hmm. I like collecting the comics whenever I can find them. Cool. So that was pretty cool. And finally, real gaming related, Metal Gear Solid Sons of Liberty. I think I have yes. like four other issues of this. Yeah. So, eventually, I think it will be cool to collect the whole set. Yeah. But I just keep finding these at garage sales and <laughs> thrift stores. <clears throat> so that game. was cool. Now, last time we went through and we played um, Wheel of Fortune. And I totally forgot, mm -hmm. but I actually already had the game in the original box. Oh, okay. Usually that's what I like to do. If I have it in the original box, I like yeah. bringing it on, showing the box and the whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. Instead, I found the game in my selling bin, and I was like, why is it in my selling bin? Huh. That's weird. I don't think I own the game. It's because I'm dumb, and I forgot that I had it in the original box huh. in my collection. Oh, okay. So, wow. But there it is in the original box. So I, I'm showing it now. Yeah, they're showing it now. So, whatever. Maybe you can put it for sale on website or whatever yeah maybe i'll do that now today we're going to be playing a sega genesis game but we're not going to go the typical route of sega genesis because this is another find i got i actually got this the sega genesis classic game console i got this for christmas it has 80 built-in games and the thing that i like about this is it acts like it's the mortal kombat edition huh. it's got all three mortal kombat games on it which i think is really cool sweet and so we're going to use this to actually play some Sega games. You got the classic Sonic on there, the Potbelly one, not the Svelte Sonic. Yeah, the Potbelly Sonic. <laughs> and um, the console itself is pretty teeny tiny. Mm -hmm. So 
So we're gonna do that. <coughs> we'll save some room on our table here for more chip and dip. Yeah, and the thing that I like too is it's got the AV. Yeah. So it's not RF. Yeah. So we'll get a little bit of a better quality to it. Yeah. And it does come with um, wireless controllers, but nice. these are very, like, uh, oh, they're very they're pretty cheap. Like you have to legitly like have it angled perfect. Like if you're mm. doing it like this, it's fine. And then you go just mm. a hair down, it won't recognize it's like it. Like a remote control kind of thing. Yeah. Hmm. So we're gonna hook that up and we're gonna play the game. Nice. And what game are we playing today? Well, Zero we're tolerance. gonna be playing Zero Tolerance. There's a little story, I guess, about uh, this game. I saw this game first in um, Games and Go in Minneapolis. I'm like, hmm, I wonder if this would be good. Would this be good? Because you're go looking through Genesis games. They're, none of them are in the boxes. They're like five bucks a piece in the back. It's like, fine, yeah. what's this, what's this, what's this? And it's like uh, it's a guy holding a gun. Oh, that looks cool. Maybe it's another you know, gallery shoot or whatever. You know, look at this <coughs> one, look at this one. And I have to go home. I have to research these things because I don't have a smartphone. I have a dumb phone. And uh, so I go and I, I look them up. I'm like, man, this game looks awesome. Awesome. So I've been looking for it. I would go back. It was sold out. So it's like fine. Yeah. So I go to the next games and go sold out. So I go to the next game store sold out. Jake and I were down at a shoot in River Falls. We look at um, a lot of the game stores or there's a game store there. There's a thrift store. We went yeah. to, and all the way back up home. We looked for like three or four hours through all of the game stores and nobody had zero tolerance. And then Jake's you had an idea. Yeah, I have a local game store around the area that we live in, and I know the we owner. We don't live in the game store. We just, no. <laughs> we live in the area. <clears throat> but I'm friends with the owner. I know him really well, and it's actually like my favorite game store. So I'm like, yeah. let's go there and look for games. So we go there, look in the Genesis collection. What's the first thing we see in the Genesis area? Zero Tolerance. Zero like, that's tolerance. what it is. And the thing is, I keep forgetting the name. I keep wanting to call it something else. It's like, I've seen it a million times. I've looked at it a million times. And I just keep, It won't stick in my head. I keep wanting to say, like, a Ground Zero Tolerance no. uh, or something like that or, um, or Total Recall. No. no. Stupid. Okay, yeah, Zero Tolerance, and it's a great game. I love it. It's kind of historic, actually. Yep. So we're going to so, talk about more about it while we're playing the game. While we're playing the game. So, whatever, that's it. We're going to hook this puppy up and um, get going. So you ready right. to play? I'm game. All right. Alright, and today we're also going to be playing the new console with my Striker um, Sega Genesis control pad, which I also got from Maniac Matt. Mm. So I think I showed it in the last video. So we're going to use that and we're going to play with this today. Sweet. Alright, so, so we're going to go to options, we're going to see what's going on in here. We, get, we can do a password. Now here's the crazy thing. Players, one, or two, via cable. cable. Yeah. That's one of the cool things about this game. It's one of the first ones, even reported by several magazines, one of the first ones to successfully use that cable where you connect the second player to the second player of the of another console, and then you can play on two players. But I wonder, do you need two TVs for that? Probably. Who knows? But that would be great. Like, to play with two different TVs. I'm playing on my TV. He's playing on his TV, and it's the same game. Yeah, That'd be it'd... cool, but we don't have one of those cables, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah it's... And uh, one of the things I heard about that cable is that they were going to put it in with the game. Yeah. But then, like, not eh, tough, too bad. No, we're going to put in a coupon for yeah, it. Yeah, you get a coupon yeah, for it. Yeah, you still have to buy it. All right, so password, players, one. We're going to go one player, and um, that's it. Exit. And then we're going to start. Wow, they were warning about epileptic seizures back then. I have the... Um, the uh, we it's like to have manual. the manual. Yeah. We like to have manuals. If we don't have the manual, we like to look it up but, online. We don't cheat. Yeah. We're just looking up the actual manual. I was running out of ink, and look at that. It's all black. Like, all of the entire manual is black with white light. I, I can't print that off. All right, so what's the basic story? I, Player we, Defense Core. We don't really want to sit here and read all time. this. Yeah, we want to get do. to the game. <laughs> Crisis briefing, insertion, craft, and route to space. Uh, Europe 1. Get ready, soldiers, for another glorious day in the Planet Defense Corps. You're about to do your job you were trained to do. You are absolutely the toughest, meanest soldiers in the, in the Corps. 
Now listen up to your briefing. There is still no contact with the Planet Defense Orbital Space Station Europe 1. Here is a recording of the last received transmission. As you can see, the crew has been overcome by hostile aliens. Due to the exchange of small arms fire, nuclear cooling system has been damaged. Core breach caused overheating will occur within hours. Okay, so the spaceship's about to go critical. And, uh, and it tells you the story, yeah, too, in the manual. It does. The spaceship was <clears throat> overrun by aliens, and it's about to go critical. So... This is where, isn't the team called Zero Tolerance or something? Something like that, code name Zero Tolerance. Something so we like have that. five people that we can pick from. Sat Satoi, Satoi Ishii, whatever. Thomas Sato Ishii. Oh, Sato Ishii, who's called, what's his code name? Soba. Soba. As in noodles. Code name we'll is Soba. We'll talk to you about Soba-san. Okay. Uh -huh. Then Thomas, what's his name? Base. It's all about that base. Yeah. And then um, Tony Ramos, Weasel. The weasel. Justin Wolf, JJ Wolf. Wolf. Oh, a nice code yeah, name. Code name. Janitor Jake Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> then we have Scott Hale, code name Psycho. Psycho. So who are we going to go with? One of them is like a bad guy, isn't he? Yeah, this guy. Mm -hmm. He has Thomas received Gorup, multiple Gorup. disciplinary actions for insubordination, refu refusal to follow orders, blah, blah, blah. Thomas Gorap. So, and they each have different things like. um. This guy is demolition. This person is a marksman. This person is electronics. Mm -hmm. This person's combat, mm -hmm. and that person's medical. Yeah. So we're gonna go with this guy, um, Tony Romo. Tony oh, Romos. Ramos. So we're ready. We're gonna go with him. Ramos. All right. Yeah, I like the 3D. They say, especially when they're talking about games like Doom. I've heard people say. Yeah, it's it's simulated 3D. It's not real 3D. It's like no, it's real 3D because it has it like graphed in the computer, like in 3D where everything is supposed to be. You can jump up and down. You can tell the angles are right. The only reason they say it's simulated 3D, it's not real 3D, is because they're not using polygons like yeah. PlayStation. It's a different kind of 3D. It rearranges things. It stretches things. Who knows how exactly it works? I looked at it and I played it for a long time, looking close at it. There's a few things where things don't necessarily line up like you would expect, but for the most part, it's a pretty pretty fluid 3D world. All right, and so right now we're out in space, mm -hmm. and um, I just went and got a couple shotguns. I tried. You cannot jump over the ledge. So, yeah, if you hold A, nothing happens. No. Nope. You have to hold A and hit up, and or, he jumps. Yeah, or you can crouch with uh, down. And you can do that, too. Did you know that? Yeah. Well, you can, oh, oh, you can sidestep? Oh, my gosh. I've been trying to sidestep the whole time. I didn't even know you could do that. You have that. to hold A. I and played, it, like, 20 levels of this game the other day, and I didn't know you could sidestep. So we're going to go in here. Now, the cool thing is you got the map on the bottom, and it'll show mm -hmm. you when um, bad guys are coming out to get you. Yeah. Man. thing is, he turns really slow, too. That's the only problem. Kind of, yeah. It, it does accelerate, which I'm really impressed by. I expected it to just be like, like move left, move right, and it was like really rigid. But actually, it's a little bit of a speed up and a slow down when he's moving. It's like, it's pretty impressive. Like so what's the, forethought for that. what's the basic storyline of the game? We usually tell that with the you basics. Know, alien invasion, basically. Um, you know, you got, you're on a space station right now. And it's been invaded by aliens, and they've uh, taken over due to, I guess, gunfire. Their uh, um, what is it? Their power core is overloading, hmm. and so you're you need to get down to the power core to uh, prevent the overheat or whatever. Now I can go hit start, and it'll show me the map. Mm -hmm. So I cleared that spot. I cleared the spot. Now I'm going to go all the way to the right and clear that whole section out. And these people that I killed, I believe the manual said that they are actual people. They used to be on the ship, okay, but they were transformed. Oh, see, here's the thing. It gives you a, like a big novel here. The emergency siren shrills in your ear. The pulsating sound of ga galvanizes your muscles into action. Leaping out of bed, you pull your jumpsuit, pull on your jumpsuit, strap on your gear. You know there isn't a second to lose when your siren is screaming. So it starts with his his. A siren he's waking up to a siren and he needs to get to a briefing now and then it goes into the briefing and it's just like it's holy cow this is a novel the briefing doesn't take long the really nasty ones never do <laughs> like keeps going on it's a novel here no don't open google see and it's pretty cool because i mean you know in the manual it does really get you into the story by doing is, stuff yeah. like that 
It's just hard doing it on like a game show now where we're going to sit here and read for yeah. an hour and a half through the manual. Today, we're going to read an excer excerpt from Zero Tolerance on a page a day. <laughs> um, and the thing about this game, too, is a lot of people are like, oh, it's a Doom clone, it's a Doom clone, it's a Doom clone. But I've, we, I looked up information and apparently not a lot of people actually hate the game. Yeah. Like, it's a good, fun game. That's like, cool. yeah, it's a Doom clone, fine, but it's a first person yeah. shooter. That's what I thought. Was like, I expected people to say it's a Doom clone, but it's like, so what? It's a Doom clone. But this is the first first person shooter to ever be on a Genesis, the first 3D game to be on a Genesis. This is awesome. And I'm quoting the company itself. They said that it's the first 3D game to be on. Uh, that was Techno. Technopop.net? I'm not sure. But, um. Yeah. But what, one thing I think about it that is really cool, like, um, there are tons and tons of levels in this game. Yeah. And it's like just on a tiny little Genesis cart. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Because I, like, I thought it was just the space station. It's like, oh, that's cool. You know, you got a few 3D levels here on a. On a cartridge and then I realized wait a minute this is pretty much open world it's not like okay you did this graduate to the next level okay you did this graduate to the next level it's like you can go on to the next level you can skip ahead a few levels if you wanted to but then you're you don't have you have your enemy count over there on the left yeah on the left hand side is yeah. your enemy count and it only counts specific levels so you can only go you it progresses level by level and it only counts the next level once you finish the previous level so in that respect yeah you got to go in order but you can skip through, um, and when you do that, when you skip levels, you don't get your code for. It's basically your 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 return code to return to that level, cheat codes. Um, but anyway, other than that, no, it's actually pretty open world, which is surprising. And then of course you can run over the dead bodies and collect mm -hmm. handguns. Like I said, I think. The manual says that those used to be people, but mm -hmm. they're transformed now. I read that somewhere, that they are people, and there's also aliens and robots. Um, and I do like, too, like, you can sneak around the walls and stuff, too, and, like, really take your time so you don't get, like, ambushed. Huh. All right, so we're going to see where I'm at. Now I'm going to enter into this big area. Switch to the, my handgun. I forgot what I was saying about the... Um, that's the only level. thing. Oh that yeah, hurts. I thought it was just this one first level, this little this little uh, space station thing. But then you get done with the space station and you're on Earth, and you're on a 164 story skyscraper. And you See, go and down look at that. And down and down. The blood splatters. Yeah, the blood, and it drips down the wall too as you're looking at it too. And it's like that's really innovative. It's like it's not simple. Like they they went out, they broke out with the first 3D game, but they just didn't do simple stuff and progress. They just went right in and did some really complex stuff with it. Yeah, we played it a little bit too before and um... There's some levels where you can shoot the walls and it breaks, that yeah. busts holes in the walls. Yeah, you can shoot holes in the walls and everything. It's really cool. Yeah. Your health's pretty low. I'm at 57. Also, I find that they only trigger in front of you. So if you hear them, you get this <laughs> sound when, when they're appearing. Apparently that's supposed to be footsteps or something. It doesn't sound anything like footsteps, but whatever. Um, they're appearing in front of you. They only ever appear in front of you. They don't appear behind you, <laughs> which is really surprising. I don't know. Someone's probably going to contradict me on that. Probably. They actually, but I've walked backwards down hallways and never encountered an enemy until I passed in front of them. Huh. Yeah, see, look at the blood. Yeah, and watch it. It just drips down the wall. <laughs> That's so cool. Now, I don't know if it's the controller or the game. Hmm. I don't want to say it's a controller because the controller is pretty much brand spanking new. But there are times I go to shoot the enemies and it's like he just won't do it. Hmm. And I'm like, I'm hitting the button. It's sometimes pretty specific. See blood on the ground too? Yeah. Now After I do, a while it fades away, but... And I do like the fact that like you get a lot of ammo. Like They mm -hmm. leave shotguns laying around. It's not like other modern games. The bodies actually remain there. It's strange that they're always facing you feet first. So it's like no matter what angle you're at, they're feet first. And also when they fall, you realize they fall into grid patterns. <laughs> Their bodies are all in lines. And then you go down, you, you look at it from the other angle, they're in line. So it's just they're all in a big grid. Um, so I think it has something to do with how they move or where they fall when they fly back. And we are, what is this? Dock Bridge. Dock Bridge. And there are a ton of levels in this game. Yeah. Tons. 40, I think. 
Well, that's what I'm confused about. Like, there's levels, but then, like, stages in the levels. Yeah. See? He's not shooting. Uh-oh. Why? Like, it just does that. Like, it'll just randomly not let me shoot. Hmm. It's like it sits there, and it's like, wait a minute. Bam, 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 bam. Hmm. I didn't have that problem. It's like, no, your controller. Baloney, it's a brand spanking new controller. Yeah, that's weird. Right there, it did it again. See? Huh. You can hear me hitting it. Yeah. And he won't shoot. One. Twi now he just switched the gun. Hmm. Um, because your, your rapid fire's on. Turn that off. Is it working now? Hold on. And switch guns. Okay, I'm holding the button. Okay. So he's not he firing. Do, yeah, he shouldn't do it when you hold so it. So I had rapid fire accidentally on then. Oh, uh, okay. Now the game should be good. Because I'm trying to figure out why I'm getting my butt whipped. I shouldn't be getting destroyed like this. Yeah. It's because the oh. gun wasn't firing. Yeah, there we go. The shotgun is always easier to kill enemies with, of course, because it's got a broader range. Oh, he left. You're right. And that was, like I said, a big complaint is he turns really slow and he also overshoots. Oh, yeah. Because the acceleration does accelerate a little bit. And I also try to keep an eye on the map down below because that's where I see the red dots. The cool thing is, too, like I like how the planet and stuff looks over there. It just looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's great depth. And no, you can't fall off, which I'm glad. Yeah. I'm so glad they don't let you fall off the edge of that and die. So I'm just going to run around here and collect collect as much stuff as I can. All right. Now, often the enemies will appear and then run right behind you, too, though. That's annoying. Yeah, I've had like They just run past you and turn around and shoot you in the back. Like, Which doesn't make any military sense, but whatever. All there's, right, so there's zombies. nothing down here. We're going to go all the way to the other end. Zombies with guns. Space zombies with guns. Yeah. Okay. It's now, funny because while I was... Sorry, go ahead. Well, what I was going to say is with the level thing, you said there's like 40 levels, but there's like a level with like 20 stages per yeah. level. Or vice versa. There's three stages and there's a bunch of levels in within there, they say. But the thing is, yeah, it's open world, so how do you say there's a level? But when you clear a, like, level, like a floor, oh, to your left, uh, when you clear a floor, you got, um, it, it considers that a level, I guess. See, I like that you can do this, like, sneak out a little bit, yeah. draw them in, and then... Yeah, I like bottlenecking them through the, around the corners. I'm missing a page. Had all this information about the game. Oh, it's Come like on. I didn't even know about the uh, the controller thing. I was just thinking it would be great to play with this on two different TVs at the same time. And then I discovered there's a way to connect connect the two. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. We've got to do that sometime. Yeah, that's really cool. Because like I just happened to be thinking about it, and it turns out they actually took that into account. It's, it's, hmm? it's it just stinks that we don't have the cable. Yeah, the they did one. put the schematics for it on Technopop.net. They put the schematics for it, so maybe we could make one if we had enough parts to cut up that weren't working. But it's like, I don't want to do that. Of course, I have a lot of controllers that I could take apart. Maybe we could temporarily solder some things together. Yeah, I got a lot of junk controllers laying around and stuff, too. That'd be yeah. cool to... Because it's not what you would think. It's not pin for pin. Um, they kind of swap around a little, <laughs> which is kind of weird. But... Um, Get some more shotgun ammo. But it might just be easier just to look for one on eBay. Probably. Alright, so I got that room cleared. Now we're going to go to the elevator. Yeah. And this is where it can get all weird and goofy open world. Like, you can skip levels and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just go in the elevator and then turn around and go back down. Yeah. So right here. So this was Dock Bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the first elevator we encounter. I like this music. Do 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 do. Get elevator music. So and should, after you play, like, so if I go into here, see, I'm in a different level now. Yeah. Now, what if I walk back into that elevator? What's it gonna do? In. I think it takes you back up. This one does. There's other ones that take you to different levels. 
So here okay, I am. I'll just bring you right back up. I think it's great. You know, you got that vertical. And it's crazy too. You almost have to walk in it backwards to actually watch. Be able to see the yeah. All right, so you can, this floor is going right. to switch off. Okay, I gotta get used to this controller again. Shoot, switch weapons, and I hate that it only goes in one direction. Yeah. But, um, oh, one direction. One direction. Oh, my favorite band. No, it's not. And I know with different people too. There's a, all sorts of gadgets and stuff you can have. There's like bulletproof vests that you can get. You can get bombs and stuff too, I guess. Hmm. Fire, flamethrower. Had a little bit of trouble with this the first couple times. All right. I forget that there's no enemies in this hallway. That's right. So this one, it is loaded with enemies though. I'm just going to go to the end so yeah, we can see what's at the end of this hallway. There are 79 enemies. Okay, so this is just a, a empty hallway. There's well, you can hit here. start too and show the full map. Yeah. So it goes to the cross pattern. I started at the top. I went down to this empty, this cul-de-sac, basically. And then you go off to the sides. You have uh, two big places on top and bottom. Each of them have little cubbies in there, and there's a throwaway on the top and then in the middle on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Do you have your little notebook thing, too? Because we got the password. Oh, right. Um, I took a picture of it on my phone, actually. No, I left my note. I left my phone. Um... So I got a pen. I just need a piece of paper. Oh, save for five hours. There it is. Oh, hey, there's my rest of my notes. So is it the same code now? I think the code changes every time. Yeah, it's changed. So it it changes depending on who's died and stuff like that. The first time we had a couple people die already by the first level. Yeah. So so they it actually changes. Probably I wonder if it even changes based on your inventory too, because it might have everything taken into account on every possible level. Probably. So we're going to write down the password. We're not cheating. The password nope. is there. It's right there. So Given to us. And it's like the password is going to be different depending on how you play. So Docking bay level one. And the elevator that I'm trying to get to ultimately is on the very bottom, that little nook there. Uh, all the doors are marked in red. All right, I got that password. Now we can move on to docking bay level two. Not secured. So I'm going to go to the left. And it does it, it does definitely look like Doom, like the walls and stuff yeah. re really remind me of the... of Doom. And the, uh, the whole, what do you call that, um, interface thing here, yeah. the, your console. Okay, so this is kind of a pain right here. I hate this part. Just flooded full of enemies. Oh, tons. So you got 75, 74, you 73. Really try to start trying to run behind you. Okay, yep. now there's one waiting at the door for me. And, and there is also, um... Got me, dang. Apparently there's a thing in here too, I don't know what it's called, but it'll actually show you where all the enemies are. Jeez, they are vicious. You're just going to peek up around that corner. And Someone's watching Jurassic Park upstairs. Here they come. Here's the nice One. thing about looking around the corners, though. Is that... Oh, I got them? <laughs> that was weird. It's like I went around the corner on the right, so they didn't appear on the left. So if I turn around, though... Uh-oh. Are you going to come get you now? I guess not. Now I have to go into the darkness. I hate this part. It's like, oh man, I have to walk right... There he is. There they are. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes like five of them, ten of them up here at once. And there's no lag, which is super surprising. Yeah, that's really cool. That the game does not actually lag out. Oh, that's not the <clears throat> new way to say it. Slow down. What? You don't get slow down. That's the new way people say it that's now. stupid. No such thing as lag anymore. It's called slow down. That's dumb. Here comes two. And that to me, like, I always try to use the handgun because I'm always worried I'm going to run out of shotgun ammo. Yeah. <clears throat> so I was trying to concern. But it, like I said, it's really cool that they leave shotguns and stuff laying around. So it looks like you got everyone in here if you want to just like run a... around and collect. Yeah. 
think you're at 99 for the handgun ammo, so they might not give you any more. Which is fine, we can always get more. You're right, I am at max. Yeah, I do try to switch to the weapon that seems to be given to you more most often. See, I'm gonna back up here just a sec so you can take a look at this. See, they're in a big row here. Yeah. And then you go, come down here in another row. Yeah, it's goofy. And then you come over here to this and look at it from another angle. And you realize that where they are in the rows are in rows. So it's like all in a big grid pattern. That's weird how they <laughs> land like that. And I know it's probably just to save space on the in the whole programming and everything, but it's just it's funny. So you come into this little area. Did I pick up that shotgun? Get some health because you're only. You know what? Some. It's not saying shotgun collected. Why is it not talking to us? You better get your health. You're at 40. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's just so quiet. It is saying it. Yeah, she said. Medipack collected. I, I had the audio cranked when I was playing it. But then I kept hearing this dump, 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 dump. You could have given it more than one note, please. It's like. When, when you're playing this so long, it is so refreshing. You just want to stay in the elevator for a while just to hear some other notes. Yeah. <laughs> also, some other thing, bad things I can <clears throat> say about this is like, okay, yeah, it's kind of pixelated. Um, but and, uh, imagine when this came out, that small viewfinder there. Uh, this was a, this came out at a time when TVs were still pretty small, you know? Yeah. I mean, not like way back when, but they're not like like gigantic <clears throat> television screens so but then again being smaller you didn't notice the pixelation all right so where are you at on the map now oh what do they call it now it's not pixelation is it smallification yeah now? that's what it's called now i'm up in the top room now so i um i don't even know how i did this okay i went in the left i came in, in the top and then i went around on that top level up there uh, through that little hallway and back over on the right now so now i got to go back down and do this one on the bottom right corner and then the bottom left corner after going through that hallway. So that's what I gotta do. There's a small room over here. Um, I'm at 99 health, so I'm not gonna go there yet. Because I know there's health in there. Always appears in front of you. I don't want to back into this hallway to prove my point because if I do, 20 of them are gonna appear at the same time. Yeah. That's gonna be a real pain. Yeah, Look see, how right bad there. It is already. Right there. Like three, four of them came out. And you'll say, oh, no, so one appeared to your right. It's like, yeah, but generally within the first 180 degrees in front of me, they don't appear behind me, within the 180 degrees behind me. I guess I should use, be using the handgun more. It's like they all have different profiles, too. Like the, um, like the, the sharpshooter. It's like, well, who's really, like, how does that really affect your gameplay? Yeah. Does that affect your gameplay at all? Does Is it easier to aim with the sharpshooter? Yeah, I don't get that. It's like, like, it's like auto-aim, basically. Yeah, it's like sometimes they do, you know, they make it easier to auto-aim or whatever using, like, sharpshooter characters. Oh, your aiming is superior with this character. It's like, like this okay, char fine. Yeah, this character is the marksman. It's like, then again, with all the detail that they put into this, I wouldn't be too surprised if it is easier to aim with a sharpshooter. Where is he? I don't see him. Oh, he's behind me. He's to my right. I was looking at the map wrong. Maybe, maybe he did appear behind me. Now I'm gonna just start running around because, like, I don't wanna. It's like, did I get them all? Did I trigger them all? Oh, it's so triggering. I like that too. It's like a window you can look out. See, when I, when we were up top, it's actually kind of almost irritating because you got all this space, but it's really hard to tell like depth. Like mm -hmm. you're running towards stuff, and it's like really goofy yeah. to look at. Whereas in here, I like how they have the borders and the walls. Yeah, it's easier to makes it feel easier to navigate. Mm -hmm. All right, now Not I'm gonna go for that little pocket of stuff up here. Oh, pocket like in Wild Nine. Yeah. The character? Yeah. Oh, excellent! 
Now let's not ruin this great experience. Now what's in that pocket <laughs> behind you? Oh, that's uh, the hallway I came out of in order to enter the room right up here. Yeah, right there. Yeah, I came in that way. So I'm going down to the bottom. Going down into the other big room. And now I have 99 shotgun. Whoops. There's a door over here. Okay, now... Oh, great. Now there's going to be people waiting in the hallway. I forgot to clear the hallway. I always clear the hallway first. All three of them at the same time. We must be doing too good of a job. I guess so. Dripping down so that way should be a dead end. Yeah. yeah. I'll look at the map so you can get your bearings, everybody. All right. Good. Good. <clears throat> oh, more shotgun, Amy. Amy? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna shorten words and put Y's. I can do that too. Shotgun Amy. It's totes. Totes cray. Cause it's on fleek. Cause my bay. Totes jelly. Holy crap! Just charge. Give me my shotgun. And like I said, that's the only problem I really have with the game is that when they shoot, you. see they do that. They they run right past you. Look at them. Holy crap. See, and that's why you don't want to charge into a room because stuff like yeah. that will happen. And I didn't try to charge into the room, but somebody shot me and it went, sent me flinging into the room. And that's what ticks me off is when you get shot, it like Castlevania's you really yeah. far back. Yeah. Just sends you flying. This room is just filled, just filled with guys. And I think most of them might have already come at me. I don't know. Yeah, there's... But sometimes you do. You hit these spots where there's like tons of people in there. Because right now we got 24 enemies left. So, 24, yeah. Okay, I still have another room to clear out, too. It's like the bottom rooms are more... I'm in the bottom room, right? <sighs> Zigzagging. It's like he landed where I shot him, but you didn't expect it to fall into a grid pattern. See, like is. that. Shoots you, and you go f careening backwards. Yeah, exactly. Oh, 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 no. For some reason, I was thinking, oh, what? I wasn't even paying attention to my health. Criminy. Sitting here yammering. All right. For some reason I was thinking, oh, he must be behind me because I'm looking at the map wrong. See, and that's like the only never behind you. That's the only problem I have with playing games like this on a show mm -hmm. is that people want to see the game, and then we're sitting here talking too much rather so than playing. So we're not playing the game right. Uh, who do you think? JJ Wolf, the criminal guy? Is he the criminal? No. no, he's no. Um, Who's the criminal guy? One more up. I think it's him. Yeah. Okay. He's the bad guy. I'll stick with, who do you think we should go with? We can go with him. Janitor Jake Wolf? Yeah. Now you start back at the beginning of the level, but all the things are saved in the level, so, like, if I go down this hallway, I should see those three bodies in front of the door over there. Okay, there's a handgun I missed, but there's the bodies, one, two, three, and then probably four right in here, yep. So it saved everything. Did you clear that room out though? Yeah, that that room was clear. This is the one I was in. <clears throat> and I have the end scanner. This character naturally has an end scanner, but it runs out via over time. Yeah. So now it's already at seventy percent, and all I've done is walk down a hallway. Sixty percent. Yeah, it's so just it's running out. Because if you hit start, me. hit start, and it should show you. No, oh, well, it shows you on the bottom map anyway. Shows you where all the enemies are. So that's what it's called, the end scanner I was talking about, where you can have it equipped. Yeah. And it'll show you where enemies are located. But yeah, look at it, it's like counting down. It's like it's not helping me much because this room is so big. In a maze it helps you somewhat, but it doesn't last very long. And in the future you can pick up end scanners later on, but... Oh. Okay. Now I don't need the health. I wish I'd gotten here sooner last time. I happen to know this level's filled with shotgun ammo, so I'm just going to keep using the shotgun. Just make sure there's no one here. Okay. And if I ever need it, I can come back and get it. That's the great thing about using an open world map. Yeah. It's like, oh no, several levels down, I'm, I'm running out of shotgun ammo. Okay, there's the elevator. I kept missing that last time. I kept walking past it thinking there's something over here. I'm an idiot. I'm at 99 health, 99 shotguns. 
Okay, now we're gonna go into here and get bombarded. There's only 15 enemies in here. There should yeah. be. So, oops! Dag nabbit, I hate it when they do that. They propel you right into the midst of everything. Die. Die, everybody. See, and that's what's weird, too, is, like, I look at the map at the bottom to find out where they're coming from, and for some reason, it's like we always turn the opposite yeah, way. Yeah, it's like, I, because, like, I'm used to, like, the map rotating with you. Yeah. And that's how I usually have it set up. This is the same setup as Hover on Windows 95, which nobody ever plays because nobody ever knew that it came with it. But on the demo disc, there was a little folder called Fun Stuff, and inside that folder was a game called Hover. And it was basically just like this, the map moving around. It has such a scary sound when they first appear, I don't know why. Hmm. I always flinch. <laughs> like, <laughs> it sounds like somebody hurting you. It's really just them walking. So we got six more enemies to go before we can hear the all come. Had once. Now oh, down to 44 health. Now two more enemies. I think I'm gonna back into this wall here. Save for that way. And I'm gonna back into this room. I mean, not, there's only two guys left though. I know, but I, next thing you know, they're gonna be right on you. And they're just gonna blow all my health away. Because that's what I forgot to do last time. I just wasn't watching my health. And, just like... and I've gone through this without getting hurt before, but whatever. Some yakking. Takes me off because we're going to need those lives later. But at least you know what it's like to die, guys. Yeah. Make, lets you know that the threat is real. Okay, we got all the handguns, so I don't need to worry about that. Got more shotgun. I'll go back into this hallway and get more shotgun. Now we're done. Now we can move on to the next part, too, after we collect a bunch of stuff. All right. So there's zero more enemies, so I can go down here. Uh, I should get more health, though. Thing is, I don't think it replenishes your health or anything when you go up and down, so... I don't know if I left any health behind, though. That's the thing. There's a shotgun I left behind. And I know there's another room in here. I just walked past it. Oh, and I missed another room in the other place, too. So, so I remember going in here. <clears throat> yeah, there's a bubble room on the left room as well. There we go. And that's the one thing that I love about this game is that the enemies don't respawn yeah. because that's the main objective is you to gotta kill the, kill the enemies. Yeah. So when you kill them, then you can go and explore and look around. Like Resident Evil. Wow. Yeah. It is a lot like Resident Evil, except you know what? The controls are better than Resident Evil. The navigation is better than Resident Evil. Uh, opening up doors doesn't take as friggin' long as Resident Evil. So that's what I was gonna say. It's just like, this is so superior to Resident Evil. Alright, so we are in Bridge 1. Yeah. So you wanna write that password down? Hand it over. <sighs> so that's your ID card on the lower right there, is your, your name and uh, serial number or whatever. Alright. Here we go. Oh, you were you were born the twelfth of Ju of January. All right, we're at full health, so we did not pick that up. So I'm gonna. This room I always like too, because I like the bright colors. You can actually see a lot yeah. better. Yeah, and there's no like like um atmosphere it's not fading away in the distance which i love so you can see everything so clearly come on is this the one with the bugs no no bugs yet all right got him man he shot me from far away so did he hmm. it's like as soon as i barely see them they start shooting me it is cool too, like you have this weird momentum. He acts like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, you have to speed up. You start yeah. running and then he just like starts taking off really, really quickly. It's true. 
I kind of like that though. Um, okay, so you have equipment. You have the bio scanner, which is basically the end scanner, I think. Uh, That's which I don't have anymore. Oh, oh, I guess I said, I said end scanner. Maybe it is bio scanner. It's just so hard to read on that tiny font, you know. Yeah. Maybe that said bio scanner, not end scanner. That's why we need. Sorry, a yeah. HD TV. Yeah, well, yeah. Buy us like, yeah, one then. You you want to complain about it? Just buy us an HD TV then. All right, so I got that hallway cleared cool. out. So bio scanner, sorry, bulletproof vest, fire extinguisher, fire extinguisher, really. Those enemies have caused a lot of fires, and this is a great way to get past them. Really, didn't know about that one. Fire suit, you can get through fires in a fire suit. That must be later in the game, because like, on the space station, you don't need that. You Come got on. a flamethrower, that shows up on the space station. Your flashlight, that shows up a little bit later. Flashlight's a pain in the butt. Hand grenades. <laughs> All right, now where am I going? Handgun. So if I go in here, <clears throat> whoops, I want to go in. Gun, mines, night vision goggles, those are also a pain. Pulse laser. I want to go in this room. I like the pulse laser. All right, haven't been in here yet. Rocket launcher, I've never got a chance to use yet. Oh, I hate those guys. Watch your health. Did you see him duck? Yeah. Like my guy did that after he got shot. He does that every time. It's like he flies back and then... And when they shoot, you fly up into the air, too, and then you land really low, so it's like you fell back onto your back or something. It's like, why can't I kill him now? It's like they're shooting too fast or something. Shotgun, of course. Now, it says that there's three enemies left. But I thought I explored... Maybe not the other... See, it looks like, so this, this hallway is cleared. And this one is cleared. Down there is clear. All the enemies are dead. Hmm. So where, where are the other three then? Flip your map again. Oh. See, they shoot me from really far away. Look out. But I can't do it to them, I guess, because it's a shoddy, right? Yeah, if you had your handgun and you aim specifically. There we go. Zero enemies left. You have medical training, apparently, Mr. J.J. Wolf. Maybe the J.J. Abrams. Maybe that's why, because it looked like, at one point, when you picked up health, it gave you a lot more health. Huh. Well, maybe that's like I'm it. at 82, 99. Yeah. All right, now which way? I don't want to go that way. That's the way we came from. Oh, uh, we're that part was, of the UN. That was docking bay level two, and now we're going to bridge level one. Okay, you know, look at it, UN. Hmm. Yeah. With the UN symbol in the middle. What the heck? What's that about? United Nations, huh? We're supposed to be the Marines. What the heck? The UN Marines? You've won more medals than most soldiers have years of service. Okay. <laughs> he's always in the thick of the fighting wherever he's been. And he's a crack shot with any pistol. With his medical training, you know he's true survivor type. He'll make the most of those meta packs you may find. So, yeah, you probably do get more health. And this is J.J. Wolf we're talking about. J.J. Wolf. Who did we just kill? I forgot. All right, so I'm going to move on, and we're going to back up, and this was Docking Bay Level 2, and we're on Bridge 1. We haven't got to Scott Hale yet. Weasel Ramos, Ma Major Tony, Sato, I don't think we chose Soba, did we? I don't remember now. All right, so we're going to write down the password for Bridge Level 1. And now we're going to go on to engineering level one. Okay, here, I'm going to write the password. I'll take control of your engineering. Okay, so this part's really confusing, I think. Maybe we're not to the confusing part yet. I don't know. 